The pandemic has thrown Brit's holiday plans into chaos this year, with changes in travel restrictions, quarantine rules and cancellations. However, holidaymakers are starting to get hopeful for 2021, thanks to promising coronavirus vaccine, COVID-19 tests that mean you could cut quarantine time, firms looking to entice Brits back with tempting deals, and countries where you don't need to quarantine. Of course the travel landscape looks a little different, so if you are looking to book a holiday, there are some key factors to consider when you start planning from travel advice and what insurance covers, to the type of holiday you book and a firm's booking policy. Ultimately, it's a personal choice as to whether you want to book. To give you a helping hand, we flagged some of the top things to consider when looking to book a holiday in 2021-1. Your chosen destination There are three key questions to ask yourself when choosing where you want to go. What is the FCDO travel advice? If the foreign office warns against non-essential travel to your destination, your trip is likely cancelled and your insurer won't cover you. If you have a trip booked a few months away, your firm will likely wait until a week or two before your departure date before cancelling, in case the advice changes to allow for travel before then. You can check the FCDO travel advice here for any country. We have a guide explaining what happens if the FCDO changes advice and you already have a holiday booked. Is it on the UK's travel corridors list? This determines whether you will need to quarantine when you return from a trip. Self-isolation is 14 days, although if you pay for a test you can cut this to 5 days. A word of caution if a country is on the travel corridors, that doesn't mean you won't need to quarantine when you're there. You can check this in the FCDO travel advice. What are the entry requirements? Some destinations require proof of a negative COVID-19 test within a certain window of time before departure, usually up to 72 hours, but it varies. 2. Check for flexible booking policies during the pandemic. Most travel firms, airlines and cruise lines have introduced flexible booking rules, which allow you to amend the details of your trip at no extra charge, for example, if you want to change the dates or destination on your booking. Airlines such as EasyJet, British Airways and Virgin Atlantic have temporarily waived their flight change fees. Companies such as TUI, First Choice and Mercury Holidays also offer waived amendment fees, while Thomas Cook is only selling holidays to destinations on the travel corridors and says it will offer refunds amendments if quarantine rules change. It is worth noting that often free amends are limited to one free change, and these don't apply if you want to cancel the holiday entirely. However, it's a little different if the foreign office changes its advice against non-essential travel to a country, in this case, most firms get in touch and should offer options, such as rebooking or a full refund. 3. Consider a package holiday A package holiday can offer more reassurance and protection around your money, and can often be a smoother process in terms of getting your money back. If your holiday is a toll protected and your firm goes bust, you'll be refunded your holiday cost. If you're already abroad, then you can still continue your trip and be brought home at no extra cost. Travel companies usually display the Atoll Protected logo on their website, but it's always worth checking the Atoll database, especially if it's a firm you're not familiar with. Booking a hotel and flight separately if there is a change in travel advice meaning you can no longer go on your holiday, in this scenario it can be trickier to get your money back. Getting a refund will depend on your hotel booking policy in some cases you may struggle to get a refund, although you could find a compromise such as vouchers for a future visit. As for your flights, you'll need to check your airline policy in some cases, airlines haven't cancelled flights, even when the FCDO advises against travel to a country, meaning you could end up unable to claim a refund, but having to opt for credit or vouchers instead. With a package holiday, if the firm cancels your break you are entitled to a full refund, although some are still offering alternatives, such as rebooking for a later date. 4. Check your travel insurance. Travel insurance policies have changed during the pandemic, with new factors such as COVID-19-related medical costs and costs, if you unexpected have to quarantine. Most insurers will cover some COVID-19 situations, such as medical costs, but will rarely cover quarantine costs or even costs if your holiday gets cancelled because of changes in FCDO advice. If you bought an annual policy before the COVID-19 pandemic hit, then what you're covered for remains unchanged. However, when it comes to renewing your policy it's likely that the TNCS will change, so make sure to read the policy documents carefully before renewing it may be that you need to opt for a different policy. 5. Prepare to be flexible. If you've booked a holiday but new restrictions come in meaning you can no longer go, it's worth speaking to your travel firm about either rebooking for a later date or seeing if you can amend your trip to head to a different destination. 
If the FCDO changes its advice against non-essential travel to a destination and you've booked a package holiday, your travel firm tour operator should get in touch anyway to offer you some differing options such as rebooking, credit for future trips or a refund.